In the history of humanity, the Egyptians were the first to build pyramids. The commonly accepted theory of why they arrived at this geometric form is quite simple, and the answer lies in the evolution of architecture during the first Egyptian dynasties. Our group will be discussing about the development of Egyptian tombs, pyramids, and mastaba. In this presentation, the topics to be discussed are the following. 1. Definition of terms. 2. Egyptian tombs. 3. Egyptian pyramids. 4. Egyptian mastaba. And 5. Evolution of the architectural style. Definition of terms. Burial chamber. This is a natural or artificial enclosed space that is used as a grave. It is often found below ground level and usually includes wall paintings, a sarcophagus, which is the Egyptian ornate stone coffin, and or canopic jars. Some even included vehicles, tools, food, wine, perfume, and household items because these are said to be items that the deceased will need in the afterlife. It is also said that pharaohs were buried with their pets or servants. Funeral Complex This includes a wide range of services to pay tribute to the deceased according to values, customs, traditions, and religion. Ancient Egyptians believed in the next world or the afterlife, so they built different types of funerary buildings because for them, it is significant for burial and funeral ceremonies. They had an elaborate set of funerary practices that they believed were necessary to ensure their immortality after death. These rituals and protocols included mummifying the body, casting magic spells, and burials with specific great goods thought to be needed in the Egyptian afterlife. The ancient Egyptian burial process evolved over time as old customs were discarded and new ones adopted. But several important elements of the process persisted, although specific details did change over time. The preparation of the body, the magic rituals, the grave goods were all essential parts of a proper Egyptian funeral. Mastaba Mastabas were relatively low, especially when compared to pyramids. They are rectangular, flat-roofed, and roughly benched-shaped burial structures that were created and utilized for the pre-dynastic pharaohs or nobility of ancient Egypt. They had distinct sloping sides and were typically made out of mud bricks or stones. Mastaba literally means house of stability, house of eternity, or eternal house in ancient Egyptian. These marked the burial sites of many eminent Egyptians during Egypt's early dynastic period and old kingdom. Mortuary Temples Mortuary temples, or funeral temples, were temples that were erected adjacent to or in the vicinity of royal tombs in ancient Egypt. The temples were designed to commemorate the reign of the pharaoh under whom they were constructed, as well as for use by the king's cult after death. 
it also serves as a place of worship of a deceased king and the depository for food and objects offered to the dead monarch. Offering Chamber This is an enclosed space where offerings for the deceased are usually left because ancient Egyptians believed that it may have provided as a dwelling for them equipped with necessities that they would need for the afterlife. Pylon Pylon is the Greek term for a monumental gateway of an Egyptian temple. It consists of two tapering towers each surmounted by a cornice joined by a less elevated section which then encloses the entrance between them. The entrance was generally about half the height of the towers. Also, contemporary paintings of pylons show long poles with flying banners. Pyramid Town It has been said that this was the home for priests serving in the cult of the king. There is some evidence that the Pyramid Town included a palace for a king. The Pyramid Towns of Old Kingdom are best known from a series of royal decrees set up in the towns giving the inhabitants special privileges. Few remains of these towns survived. Around the valley temple and the pyramid of Menkare, some houses survived. A few houses also survived at the valley temple of the Bent Pyramid at Dashur. But, but for the 5th dynasty, some houses have been excavated in and around the pyramid complexes at Abusir. Settlements at Old Kingdom pyramids consisted of no more than a cluster of houses, so the term pyramid town may be misleading. The towns at Middle Kingdom pyramid complexes are on an entirely different scale. Rock cut tomb. This is a burial chamber that is cut into an existing, naturally occurring rock formation, so a type of rock cut architecture. They are usually cut into a cliff or sloping rock face, but may go down from fairly flat ground. It was a common form of burial for the wealthy in ancient times in several parts of the world. Each tomb typically belonged to a single wealthy family. Bodies were laid out on stone benches. After a generation, the bones were moved to a bone chamber or later into ossuaries and the benches used for new burials. Rock tombs were the province of the wealthy. The common people were buried in the ground. Rock-cut architecture is the creation of structures, buildings, and sculptures by excavating solid rock where it naturally occurs. Royal City This was the residence of the pharaoh and the central administration, which was also usually the capital of the country. It contained palaces, temples, administrative buildings, storehouses, barracks, granaries, house for the court and high officials, and as well as a suburban area for non-royals. Step Pyramid A step pyramid or stepped pyramid is an architectural structure that uses flat 
platforms or steps receding from the ground up to achieve a completed shape similar to a geometric pyramid. These pyramids typically are large and made of several layers of stone. The term refers to pyramids of similar designs that emerged separately from one another, as there are no firmly established connections between the different civilizations that built them. Traditional Pyramid The Egyptian pyramids are ancient pyramid-shaped masonry structures located in Egypt. Most were built as tombs for the country's pharaohs and their consorts during the Old and Middle Kingdom periods. Tumuli The word tumulus is Latin for mound or small hill. A tumulus is a mound of earth and stones raised over a grave or graves. Tumuli are also known as barrows burial mounds or kurgans, and may be found throughout much of the world. A cairn, which is a mound of stones built for various purposes, may also be originally have been a tumulus. Valley of Kings is a valley in Egypt where, for a period of nearly 500 years, from the 16th to 11th century BC. Rock-cut tombs were excavated for the pharaohs and powerful nobles of the New Kingdom. It is also called Valley of the Tombs of the Kings, a long narrow defile just west of the Nile River in Upper Egypt. It was part of the ancient city of Thebes. Valley of Queens, a site in Egypt where the wives of the pharaohs were buried in ancient times. It was known as Ta Set Neferu, meaning the place of beauty. It was most famous for being the burial site of many wives of pharaohs. The reason for choosing the Valley of the Queens as a burial site is not known. An Egyptian tomb ideally comprised two basic parts. One was intended to house the body for eternity, and the other was to act as the interface between this world and the next. These two elements could lie close to one another or could be separated by some considerable distance. The early kings were buried in the sacred city of Abydos, far up in Upper Egypt, a recognition of their origin as southerners. Typically, the tombs had a central burial chamber, walled with timber and surrounded by storerooms for goods and subsidiary graves for officials. Near each tomb was a walled funerary enclosure where, it is believed, rituals relating to the cult worship of each king were carried out. Despite plundering over the centuries, Enough material survives to show that the tombs were filled with pots containing food and drink for the afterlife, well-crafted stone vessels, sometimes finished in gold, and objects in copper and ivory. Scientists believe that the graves of the early kings were actually on the burial grounds developed at Saqqara near Memphis, with those at Abydos being merely cenotaphs. Now it seems that the tombs at Saqqara, finely constructed though they might be, are in fact those of leading officials. The need to provide fine goods for the king's and his courtier's survival in their afterlife appears to have been the catalyst for a major explosion in the arts during the early dynastic period. Two types of underground tombs were built by pharaohs and nobles during the Middle and New Kingdom periods, rock-cut tombs and shaft tombs. Rock-cut tombs are tombs that are carved out of rocks. 
A very good example is the Rokka tomb at Beni Hassan. Beni Hassan consists of three elements, a colonnade entrance portico for public worship, behind the portico, a chamber or hall with columns supporting the roof serving as a chapel, and a small recess towards the back of the chapel where the person is buried. Columns on the exterior were shaped like a prism with 8 or 16 sides, while those of the interior were designed as a bundle of reed tied together by rope. Another type of underground tomb is the shaft tomb. Shaft tombs were a complex series of underground corridors and rooms cut out of the mountains in the valley of the king at Dar al-Bahari. The large number of rooms and their complicated arrangement is deliberately done to create a maze or puzzle. Examples of tombs Tombs Without a doubt, the ancient Egyptian architects were far more advanced than anyone could have imagined. Using the natural caverns within the valley, ancient architects carved walls, chambers, and intricate pathways without more than two with surprising precision. Although impressive, the architecture and layout of the valley's earliest burial tombs are inconsistent. There are no unified pattern of the tombs layout due to the unpredictability of limestone formation in the area. Pharaohs invariably try to choose what they perceive to be more superior spot compared to their predecessors. Once the shafts of the tomb had been dug out and the surrounding chamber completed, the hole was finished off with a rectangular building over the tomb at ground level. These constructions have been nicknamed mastabas after the benches which are found outside modern Egyptian houses. Mastaba A rectangular structure with a flat top and slightly sloping sides built during ancient Egyptian times above tombs that were situated on flat land. Mastabas were made of wood, mud bricks, stone, or a combination of these materials. Some are solid structures, while others can contain one or more rooms, sometimes decorated with paintings or inscriptions. Mastabas were relatively low, especially when compared to pyramids. Rectangular, flat roof, roughly bench-shaped burial structures that were created and utilized for the pre-dynastic pharaohs or nobility of ancient Egypt. They had distinct sloping sides and were typically made of mud bricks or stones. Usage Eventually, during the Old Kingdom in Egypt, Egyptian royalty such as kings stopped being buried in mastabas and began being buried in more modern and more aesthetically pleasing pyramids. Egyptians of non-royal background continue to be buried in Mastabas. From the Encyclopedia Britannica, Old Kingdom Mastabas were used chiefly for non-royal burials. In non-royal tombs, a chapel was provided that included a formal tablet or stella on which the deceased was shown seated at a table of offerings. The earliest examples are simple and architecturally undemanding. Later, a suitable room, the tomb chapel, was provided for the stella, now incorporated in a false door in the tomb superstructure. Storage chambers were stacked with food and equipment, and walls were often decorated with scenes showing the deceased expected daily activities. What had earlier been a niche on the side grew into a chapel with an operating table and a false door through which the spirit of the deceased could live and enter the burial chamber. Inside the mastaba, the burial chambers were cut deep into the bedrock and were lined with wood. 
The underground burial chamber contains the sarcotargon and funeral offerings. The above ground structure had space for a small offering chapel equipped with a false door. A second hidden chamber called Sir Dab House, the statue of the deceased, was used to store everything that could be considered essential for the comfort of the deceased in the afterlife. Interesting fact. The oldest man-made building of any kind is still existing is the central edifice of the 4,600-year-old Mastaba at Tomb Four Kings, built at Saqqara, Egypt. It was created to honor King Zoser, the first ruler of the Third Dynasty. Examples of Mastaba Mastaba, Saqqara Mastabas of the Old Kingdom. The burial chambers were gradually cut deeper until they passed into the bedrock. Lined with wood, their ceilings were topped with low mound and then surrounded with a low rectangular mud brick building. Most mastabas were filled with storage chambers for grave goods, but this made them vulnerable to thieves. By the end of the First Dynasty, the superstructure was, re was being reduced in favor of extensive subterranean storage reached by the stairway. Eventually, the mastaba would become a solid rubble filled block. Giza, mastabas of the Old Kingdom. Burial place of the family members of Khufu includes mastabas from tenants and priests of the pyramids. In here, no particular Structural statements were found as mostly are reduced to rubble except for the pyramids. Mm. Step Pyramid Technically, Mastabas were preceded the original pyramid. In fact, pyramids developed directly from Mastavas, as the first pyramid was actually a step pyramid. It started off as a Mastaba tomb, a plot structure with sloping sides, and through the series of expansions, evolved into a 197 foot high or 60 meters pyramid with six layers built on top of each other. It is constructed, it is constructed using one 11.6 million cubic feet or 330,400 cubic meters of stone and clay. The tunnels beneath the pyramid form a labyrinth around about 3.5 miles or 5.5 kilometers long. Built in a complex 37 acres or 15 hectares in size surrounded by recessive limestone wall that contain 13 failed doorways as well as the real colonnade entrance. Development of Pyramids Pyramids originated from simple rectangular mastaba tombs that were being constructed in Egypt over 5,000 years ago. The oldest known pyramid in Egypt was built during the Third Dynasty around 2630 BC at Saqqara by the Pharaoh Djoser and his architect Emhotep. It is known as the Step Pyramid and it consisted of six stacked mastabas. After Djoser, the earliest tomb constructed as a true smooth-sided nut step pyramid was the Red Pyramid at Dashur, one of three burial structures built for the first king of the fourth dynasty, Sneferu, 2613-2589 BC. It was named for the color of the limestone blocks used to construct the pyramid's core. The Great Pyramids of Giza are located in the plateau on the west bank of the Nile River on the outskirts of modern-day Cairo. The oldest and largest of the three pyramids of Giza, known as the Great Pyramid, is the only surviving structure out of the famed Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. It was built for Pharaoh Khufu, Chayup's and Greek, 
Sneferu's successor and the second of the eight kings of the Fourth Dynasty. It is the largest pyramid in the world, and it took 20,000 men to build the Great Pyramids of Giza. Three small pyramids built for Fus queens are lined up next to the Great Pyramid, and the tomb was found nearby containing the empty sarcophagus of his mother, Queen Heteferes. Like the other pyramids, Khufus is surrounded by rows of mastabas, where relatives or officials of the king were buried to accompany and support him in the afterlife. The middle pyramid of Giza was built for Khufu's son, Pharaoh Khafre, 2558-2532 BC. The pyramid of Khafre is the second tallest pyramid at Giza and contains Pharaoh Khafre's tomb. The southernmost pyramid at Giza was built for Khafre's son, Menkaure, 2532-2503 BC. It is the shortest of the three pyramids 218 feet and is precursor of the smaller pyramids that would be constructed during the 5th and 6th dynasties. Pyramids had many uses. They were tombs for kings, sites for sacrifice, places for worship, and astronomical tools. The ancient Egyptians built pyramids as tombs for the pharaohs and their queens. The pharaohs were buried in pyramids of many different shapes and sizes from before the beginning of the Old Kingdom to the end of the Middle Kingdom. Egyptian pyramids had smooth, angled sides that were designed to help the pharaoh's soul ascend to heaven. Pyramids are built on rock formations, conglomerate, gravel, or sand surfaces which are artificially leveled or unleveled. Egyptian pyramids are ancient pyramid-shaped masonry structures located in Egypt. These are huge structures built of brick or stone. They are shaped as a reference to the rays of the sun. Most pyramids had a polished, highly reflective white limestone surface to give them a shining appearance when viewed from a distance. The building material is usually brought from sources close to the site. All pyramids are built of stone from the nearest quarries. Their quarries and sources are deep in the desert or far upstream. The core of the pyramids consisted of locally quarried stone, mud bricks, sand, or gravel. In all cases, transportation is needed. Preparing pyramidion and sarcophagi required higher skills. Setting the orientation lines of the pyramid base or the datum level would be by setting right angles to true directions. The north-south direction is by observing the north star and or by observing the rising and setting of a certain star on an artificial horizon. The east-west direction was by observing the equinox and or or by shadows of the sunlight. At Giza with Khufu and Kafra marks a series of approximations leading to the perfect orientation of the pyramid base. They were placed to serve as reference points to orientation, alignment, inclination, and other building features. The Great Pyramid score is made of yellowish limestone blocks. The outer casing, now almost completely gone, and the inner passages are of finer light-colored limestones. And the interior burial chamber is built of huge blocks of granite. Approximately 2.3 million blocks of stone were cut, transported, and assembled to create the 5.75-ton structure, which is a masterpiece of technical skill and engineering ability. The internal walls as well as those few outer casing stones that still remain in place show finer joints than any other masonry constructed in ancient Egypt. The entrance to the Great Pyramid is on the north side, about 59 feet 18 meters above ground level. A sloping corridor descends from it through the pyramid's interior masonry, penetrates the rocky soil on which the structure rests and ends in an unfinished underground chamber. From the descending corridor branches an ascending passageway that leads to a room known as the King's Chamber and to a great slanting gallery that is 151 feet 46 meters long. At the upper end of this gallery, 
a long and narrow passage gives access to the burial room proper, usually termed the king's chamber. This room is entirely lined and roofed with granite. From this chamber, two narrow shafts run obliquely through the masonry to the exterior of the pyramid. It is not known whether they were designed for a religious purpose or were meant for ventilation. Above the king's chamber are five compartments separated by massive horizontal granite slabs. The likely purpose of these slabs was to shield the ceiling of the burial chamber by diverting the immense thrust exerted by the overlying masses of masonry. Examples of Pyramids Sniferous Bent Pyramid At Dasher, it planned to build a pyramid of both smooth sides. However, halfway at the angle of inclination, it decreases from 51 degrees to about 43 degrees, and the sides rise less steeply causing it to be known as the Bent Pyramid. Next is the Pyramid of Khufu. Built by Sneferu's son, Khufu known also as Shofs, the later Greek form of his name, the pyramid's base covered 13 acres and its sides rose at an angle of 51 degrees and 52 minutes, and were over 755 feet long. It originally stood over 481 feet high and now 450 feet high. The Pyramid of Khafre, or Shefren. Built for Khufu's son, King Khafre, or Shefren, the second tallest and second largest of the ancient Egyptian pyramids of Giza, and the tomb of the fourth dynasty pharaoh, Khafre. It is 136 meters high, with a base of 215.25 meters, with a slope of 53 degrees and 10 feet. Pyramid of Menkauri Built for the successor of Khafre, Menkauri or Mycerinus, the smallest of the three main pyramids of Giza, located on the Giza Plateau in the southwestern outskirts of Cairo, Egypt. Thought to have been built to serve as the tomb of the fourth dynasty Egyptian pharaoh, Menkauri, it rises from a height of 61 meters with a base of 102.2 by 104.6 meters or 335 feet by 343 feet or 200 cubits with a slope of 51 degrees 20 feet 25 inches. Evolution of Architectural Style In the history of humanity, the Egyptians were the first to ever build pyramids. The commonly accepted theory of why they arrived at this geometric form is quite simple. Since it is a natural evolution of a traditional tomb, if we take a closer look, there are many ancient pyramids in Egypt, more than 130, if we only count monuments of a certain size, let's say around 15 to 20 meters minimum. Their states of conservation are very variable, ranging from pyramids barely damaged by the weather to piles of stones barely distinguishable from the surrounding hills. As we can see, there is a lot of pyramid style. One of them is called slices. Another is a central nucleus on which step sides were attached. There are also pyramids with degrees and pyramids with smooth faces, pyramids with variable inclination, low or high inclination, and etc. As often in the architectural, literary, or cultural currents, the appearance of a style is accompanied by an evolution of this style. 
to recap, the evolution of construction follows this sequence. Simple, or floor mastaba, step pyramid, and smooth face pyramid. We thus distinguish several phases in what we call the period of pyramids. A period that goes from the beginning of the 3rd dynasty during the Old Kingdom to the 2nd intermediate period and after the Middle Kingdom. The smaller pyramids are the provincial pyramids that were built at the end of the 3rd dynasty. The most impressive date from the face of the giant pyramids during the 4th dynasty. During the 5th dynasty, the pyramids evolved and were enormously written internally. The ancient Egyptians engraved texts that were to help Pharaoh reach the sky. Different periods Simple or floor mastabas that were constructed during the first and second dynasties. The first two dynasties used mastabas and were built on the floor. These were discovered and excavated in the middle of the 20th century. Initially, these mastaba structures were used to store the earthly possessions of those interred there. However, they were frequently raided by thieves, and so more extensive underground storage was designed and the mastaba eventually became a solid, rubble-filled block. Step pyramids, which were constructed between the 3rd and 4th dynasties. During the 3rd dynasty, around 2670 BCE, the pyramids with degrees appeared. These are improved mastabas that show the possibilities offered by the Egyptian architecture. From the moment the population lives in a certain east and the economic boom is there, they have the shape of a staircase on all four sides. It was the simplest way to build it. This form was born from the very first pyramid attempt. Smooth-faced pyramids that were constructed during the 4th dynasty and onwards. These are the pyramids built essentially by Snefru, creator of the 4th dynasty. Construction techniques were advanced enough at that time to create smooth-faced pyramids, but it took several attempts to achieve this. These tests are mostly still standing and show some originality. To summarize it all, Mastabas, which were the tombs used for burials and whatnot, were all the rage during the 1st and 2nd dynasty. But then, during the 3rd dynasty, King Choser's vizier, which was kind of his right hand, conceived a more impressive tomb by stacking the mastabas on top of one another using stone. Opposing that of the traditional use of mud bricks for mastabas, thus creating the step pyramids. During the time that the fourth dynasty came around, adjustments to the original step pyramid design were made, and these were made by filling in the steps with limestone encasing, now converting it into the first true pyramid. The architectural style. The first pyramids were pyramids with degrees. They have the shape of a staircase on all four sides. 
Once a particular technique was acquired, other pyramids were built on the same model. But alas, the architects could only see that the mass of blocks needed to complete it would not ensure its stability. Rather than stopping it and remaking it, they changed its inclination and obtained a pyramid with two slopes. The base has a steep slope and the summit has a smaller inclination. That concludes the development of Egyptian tombs, pyramids, and mastaba. These are the references used.